John is the writer of the book of John, and he always referred to himself as the one whom Jesus loved. And yet he records that these two sisters send word to Jesus, and what they tell Jesus is, Jesus, the one you love is sick, in reference not to John, but to Lazarus. And I thought about this, and I go, wow, this is, this is amazing. I think that Jesus made everyone feel like they were the one whom he loved. You know, it's, it's amazing. Even in our world today, there, there's this worldly concept of a soulmate. You know, like everybody's got someone out there that is the one for them. And, and sometimes, you know, it's, it's a real struggle to figure out who the one is. And so several people have even come up to me and go, hey, bro, how did you know that Kelly was the one? I, go, I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, how, how do you answer that question right there? And I thought about it, and part of my perspective was changed when we visited India. And in India, they don't have dating like we do in the Western world. They have arranged marriages. And yet somehow, they have far less marriage issues in India than we do in North America. And I go, what's going on right here? How could their parents dictate how they should be together, who they should be together with, and somehow it works out better than, than us in Western society, and oftentimes our marriages work out. And I realized it's, it's not about finding the one. It's about finding a one and making them the one. Jesus made the people that were around him the one. They, they all felt like, man, Jesus loves me. I, I'm special. Like, you know, you know when you, you really feel like you're the one for someone else? Like you just kind of walk a little taller? Like, yeah, my wife, my wife thinks I'm the one. Yeah, I've got it going on right here, you know? Like... Like that, that's, that's how people were made to feel with Jesus. 